Greetings. Welcome to Gratitude and Grace. Today we delve into the inspiring life story of Saint Matilda of Saxony, a queen whose legacy transcends her royal status. Born into nobility around the year 895, Matilda's life took a decisive turn when she married Henry I, the Duke of Saxony, who would later ascend to the throne as the King of Germany. Yet, it was not her royal status that defined Matilda, but her unwavering commitment to faith. From an early age, she dedicated herself to prayer and religious observance, nurturing a deep spiritual connection that would guide her throughout her life. Unaffected by the intrigue and opulence that often characterized royal courts, Matilda focused her attention on the spiritual and material needs of her subjects, embodying humility and compassion. Despite the wealth and power at her disposal, Matilda chose a path of service, compassion, and prayer. Upon becoming queen, Matilda's true virtues shone even brighter. Her reign was marked by acts of charity that went beyond the call of duty. She personally cared for the sick and destitute, embodying the Christian virtue of compassion. Matilda's generosity was a beacon of hope, extending to the use of her personal wealth to build religious institutions. She saw churches, monasteries, and convents not just as buildings, but as wellsprings of spiritual life. Her benevolent deeds played a pivotal role in the Christianization and cultural development of Germany during the 10th century. She was the queen, yet her heart was with the people, her hands in service. She was a royal, yet her spirit was humble and devout. Matilda's life was a testament to the transformative power of faith and charity. In times of personal tragedy and political turmoil, Matilda's unshakable faith remained her guiding light. Her story serves as a timeless reminder of the strength and solace found in unwavering devotion. Matilda's influence extended beyond her kingdom to her own family. As a mother, she was a beacon of faith and virtue, instilling Christian values in her sons, Otto and Henry. Her influence wasn't just nurturing, but educational, shaping their perspectives and future reigns. Otto and Henry would both ascend to kingship, carrying with them the principles their mother had so diligently ingrained. Otto, in particular, was profoundly impacted by Matilda's teachings. His reign saw the establishment of the Holy Roman Empire, a momentous event in history. This was not merely a political achievement, but a testament to the power of righteous leadership rooted in the Christian values Matilda had instilled in him. Her influence as a mother and educator proves that the ripples of our actions can reach far beyond our immediate surroundings. Matilda's life was a testament to the notion that one's influence on their family can have far-reaching consequences for good. Matilda's later years were a testament to her enduring faith and humility. Choosing a life of quiet contemplation, she withdrew from the public sphere and immersed herself in prayer and penance. Her final days were spent in the peaceful confines of the convent at Nordhausen and then at Quedlinburg Abbey, a place of worship she herself had founded. Her death on March 14, 968, marked not an end but the dawn of her venerated memory within the Christian community. Her life was a living embodiment of Christian virtues of faith, charity and humility. She stood as a testament to the power of a life guided by faith and service her every action serving as a reflection of the Gospel's call to love and serve. St. Matilda's life remains an inspiration for countless faithful, demonstrating that one need not perform grandiose miracles to be a beacon of God's love on earth. If you've enjoyed this video, please share, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Goodbye and God bless.